Children, you never guess what. I have been driving racing cars since the age of nine. No, you haven't, yes. Miss Joyce. Proper racing cars. Cars, proper racing cars from oh. the age of nine. That's how interesting. That is really interesting. Anyway, instead of us just playing with these, should we show you guys how to make them? Do you think that would be a good idea, Miss Williams? Can you me? Of course. Right, so you need an A4 sheet of paper. Thank you. Just like so. We're going to fold this to the top corner, okay? Okay. Fold down and meet. So you've got a straight line. Okay. Let's so go and show our little friends here. So you've got an A4 sheet of paper and you're going to fold it over so the bottom corner meets here, the top corner meets, and you've got a nice... Is it like this? Perfect, like that, Miss it. Williams. Just like that. Now, okay. you need a pair of scissors. Okay. And you're going to chop the remaining rectangle off your sheet of paper. So the paper isn't folded, it's like the square Yeah, this bit here. Okay. Or... It's growing! <laughs> How are we getting on, Miss Williams? Chop, chop, chop. Cut, cut, cut. There we are, okay. Perfect. Okay, now you're going to open yours. Let me show you the bricks a little bit. So it's like a square. You've got a square. You're going to fold each corner into the middle crease. So, the corner into the middle crease, okay. Just like so. So this corner edge is going to go into the middle. Perfect. Okay. And then you should get a smaller square. I have. Can we show the children yours, Miss Williams? So each corner folded into the middle. And then you're going to turn it around the other side. So at the moment, you've got it flattened like this. Turn it round. Turn it round. Okay. Spin, spin, spin. And now each corner is going to go to the middle that you've got there. So one. Okay. Three. Three. It's very oh. difficult standing up, children. I suggest doing it at a table. Three. Let's go to the new table. Okay. Four. Okay. How's yours, Miss Williams? Are we there? So all corners have gone in. Is this correct? Perfect. Oh, you need this old superstar for that, Miss Williams. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, now just fold it in half. Which bit is the flappy bits now are on the inside. So they're in inside and it's going in half like this. So here's your flappies and you're gonna fold it in half. There Perfect. And then fold it the other way. 
Now, you should be able to squeeze your little fingers and thumbs in there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's it, like that. That's it, and then fold it the other way. <laughs> I'm getting on there. Right. To this side, right, that's it. And then it should just come together. Ta da! Hold it in then. <laughs> That's why we're done. Yahoo! Nice. Perfect! Yeah. And here we have our fortune teller. You guys can put colours on the um, top if you want to. So you could have four colours or eight colours. And you ask the person, what colour would you like? And if they say pink, you're going to spell out P I N K. P I N K. Okay, and then on the inside here, you're going to write your numbers. So numbers one to eight, you can have them in different order or in chronological order. Mm -hmm. And then underneath in here, you can write what you would like to ask the person who's playing. So we have some, Miss Williams, didn't we? So like share one of your best memories or tell us some interesting facts about yourself or show me your biggest smile or tell me a joke crack in right oh, yeah. and that is how you make a fortune teller show us yours on the blog enjoy Bye. making